Hi, it's Tavara Stieglitz here. Thank you so much for watching, for joining me. Um, so today I learned something really cool. And um, basically there was a study done in the state of Massachusetts and they studied why some people have suffer heart attacks before the age of 50, one heart attack and pass away and how some people don't. Right, and um, they wanted to figure out why these people that have had these heart attacks before the age of 50, why do they don't, why don't they make it? So they looked at different factors, and they realized one amazing thing. So at first they thought it was maybe you know the body's cholesterol levels were so so high, this guy was just like exploding, and then they realized that it wasn't it wasn't because of that. Um, and so they thought maybe it was a genetic thing, maybe it was diabetes or something along those lines, but they ruled that out as well. And they all came to to the final um, bottom line and the final understanding was the Department of Welfare and the Department of Education and the Department of Health all came to the understanding that it's called, it all comes from a place of job dissatisfaction. That when a person doesn't have satisfaction or meaning in his life, in somewhere in his, in somewhere in his psyche, um, it's easier for him to say goodbye. It's easier for him to let go. It's easy for his body to become unwell. So today people know that um, mind-body connection is no longer some psychobabble. They know that it's proven that it's very, very much connected and the way you feel about your life and the way you experience your life and your mind very much affects your body and very much affects your health. That's why disease is called dis-ease, where a person is not at, at home, is not comfortable with himself, with his life, with what's going on in his life. And people get really, really sick. People's bodies get really not well. People fall apart. For the same reason that some people really beat cancer and some people fall apart. Not chas to, to to say anything about anyone in any kind of situation, but it's proven medically that people that have come out of really life-threatening diseases and illnesses are people that knew how to use their mind, that knew how to focus their energy in their mind, that knew how to channel themselves and their thoughts and their processes, and they really, really, really actually heal themselves from the inside out. So I just want to say that the idea here is, you know, Viktor Frankl wrote a book, it's called Man's Search for Meaning, where he was in the Holocaust and he was, you know, in, in the throes of all of it and the death and the destruction and the sadness and the pain and the and the, the harshness and the darkness. He was there and, and they gave him a job to clean out the they gave him a job to clean out the um, the ovens of the bodies and he writes how he's cleaning out the ovens of the bodies and he and he, he has to find a meaning. He has to find meaning for his life for himself. And um, in his book he writes how he knows that while he's doing this and while he's in while while he's in this in this bit of hell on this planet, he knows that he's going to come out of this and he's going to survive this and he's going to tell the world what happened there and he's going to make sure that people know and people know what happened to all these people. So even though he was suffering and he was in pain in the moment, he used that pain to, to promise himself that he was going to use this pain to help people in the future. And that's how he gave his life meaning. Meaning if we don't give our lives meaning, then it's very very common for people to really kind of drown in their own lives even though they're successful let's say in business or whatever it may be but every single person every single human being Jew non-Jew like everyone needs a, a reason to, to live and I just I want to say here I want to end with this that distraction like drugs and alcohol and television and whatever it may be that people throw themselves into in order to experience a little bit of life doesn't give anybody happiness and doesn't give anyone a sense of meaning. People need meaning. People need satisfaction. People need to know that they're living for something real, something effective, something that will change the world on some level, even if it's just to be kind to people, even, even if it's just to do some kind of, just decide what it is that you were created to do. Decide what it is, even if you can't think of what it is and I'll tell you uh, most often you know I always learned that what how do you know what your tikkun is here on this world right we were all given a purpose we were all given a meaning God gave us each a, a, a piece of paper piece of paper figuratively with um, with our with our purpose and our mission here and he rolled it up and he said you take this 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 is yours Devorah this is what you got to do on this planet and go on your mark get ready get set go and that's every single person every neshama that comes down to this world has a meaning have has a very specific purpose so what's your meaning what's your purpose why do you wake up in the morning we all have to put bread on the table and we all have to go out and pay our bills and we all have to get a job but what are we doing in the moment we can't wait till that 
that happens or we can't wait till we become millionaires or till we go on our vacation or till we become that sadik until we become until we're happy we have to know that most of life is happens in the process of things right while we're working through the process of things so in the moment you have to figure out what is your purpose so Oftentimes we know what our purpose is. We kind of have a gut feeling about what we're good at and what people like in us very, very much and what people appreciate that we bring to the table. Most of the time, that is really what our calling is, right? And oftentimes it's also the thing that's really hard for us, you know, that, that thing that's, that there's something standing in, our, in, in front of us as if something's holding us back from doing that specific thing. Something that you have to know that there's something very great about your life and there's a mission here. And when you're able to to do that and you're able to go into that and become that, then life takes on a whole new meaning, right? We can actually heal ourselves and heal our lives. And, and that's really what I want to say here that our satisfaction doesn't come from distraction. And there's a difference between being efficient and effective. And I wrote this down because efficient means when you're doing things right. And effective means when you're doing the right things, right? We have to live our lives being effective. We have to do our, live our lives doing the right things, meaning doing the things that feel right, that are right, right? And even if they don't make us the big bucks, but it's the right thing. It's the reason that we came down to this world. And I just want to end with one last thing now before Shabbos. Shabbos is the day of no distraction. Shabbos is the day of me and myself and I, which means that it's the day that I get to look at myself and say, hey, what am I here for? What am I here for for the next whatever amount of years? I don't know how many tomorrows I'm going to have left, but right now I have to figure out what I'm here to do and what my purpose is and how I can make a dent here and how I can give back and what I do with what meaningful thing I can do here on this world, right? And that's Shabbos. Shabbos is a break every week that God gives us a gift to say no more distractions, no radio, no TV, no phones, no driving, no errands, nothing. Just you. Look at yourself and figure out what you want to do and look around you at the people around you and love them and cherish every single moment that you have in your life. Cherish it because it doesn't get great when you when you get there. This is life right here, right now. We're living it this minute. So take care. Have a great job and thanks for listening. Bye.